Hello and welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Tay Chichu, and I don't know what I'm doing. I will never know what I'm doing, and that's what I'm using as an intro. Hello gang, I know it's been a while. I've been stressed, depressed, and everything in between. So, uh, I know I never uh, film this video, so I'm going to now. And if I do some repeats of plushes that I've shown before, guess what? It happens. I have my blanket over me. It's cozy time. So let's get talking about some plushes. This was wave three of the Sitting Cuties Gen 3. And as we know, I had some complications with it. The one Pokemon uh, that I was so, so excited for was Reggie Ice. Never got Reggie Ice because the Pokemon Center website is like, mm, not the most optimal thing in the world. And it canceled my order, even though I ordered it like first thing. We're not going to talk about it again. I made a video on it. Go watch it if you want to see me rant. Anyway, let's just talk about these plushes. Um, Again, I don't exactly remember which ones were um talked about in another video but um yeah let's just get into it so some of the ones i don't remember if i showed this guy before but i did in fact get all the deoxyses so i'm just gonna show a little view i do like these plushes a lot they are bigger than like your average sitting cutie as you can see um i got speed i got attack this is speed this is attack. Here's the attack one. As you can see, you can see the differences between all of them. They're about all the same size. Um, I would say the defense of the axis is the biggest. This is the special um, attack deoxys, I believe, or this is regular deoxys. I don't know. Deoxys is very confusing. Um, but yeah, here's a little close up. Very cute. And then we have defense deoxys. Um, and he's got his arms, he's waving. And they're all just kind of like the Deoxys gang. I got two uh, Defense Deoxys because Dakota wanted one. But yeah, here they all are together. Very cute, love. They just kind of pop right over there. Nexties, we have a good old Waylord. I love little Waylord because, I mean, it's it's supposed to be so big and it's so small. And um, yeah, I might get the big Waylord at some point. I'm not too sure yet, but here are all the little details in it. I think it's really cute, and I really like the irony of having something small that's supposed to be big. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Okay, who's next? We will go with Mr. Exploud. I did get Wismer, I did get Loudred, and now we have Exploud, because it kind of reminds me of, um, some people in my life that are very, very loud and angry. So, the only, uh, complaint that I could have about this plush is the teeth. The teeth do not go straight down, as you can see. Um, but I do love the little details of it, especially with, you know, the speakers on its back, kind of like all the little details of everything. And it's very soft and very cute. So, I mean, what really is there to complain about? Okay. Yeah, we did the 360 for good. Um, nexties, we have, we'll do Metagross because I like getting competitive Pokemon as little cuties because I like the irony of it. Um, here is Metagross. Um not my favorite um design just because i do think it, it does look a little cheap looking maybe that's just me but as you can see all the details in it, it doesn't make me love him any less i do think that he is very cute obviously he's very cute on my head will i take a picture like this probably but he's very cute i do like him um but that's just my opinion on the product okay now we will go with we'll go with Lilip. um here is Lilip. i got these because it's gonna be summertime and i think that these will take some really good summer pictures and i'm trying to start up my instagram and twitter again where i would take pokemon plush pictures because those made me really happy and i like spreading positivity on there i might do it again we will see but here is Lilip in all of its glory i love all the details within it going along with Lilip is cray dilly i have some pictures of this already online with me um but again it just reminds me of a little wilting flower and i do think that in that way it is very cute as you can see this one is a bit taller than your average sitting cutie i don't think that is bit bigger than the deoxys's but clearly they had to do something to make these two like you know clearly bigger you can see the height with the necks so yeah and next we did get Swablu before, and I did get Altaria because I wanted the entire set. So here is Altaria. It is very, this is like a soft, um, cottony fabric. 
uh, as opposed to like the soft regular fabric. I don't understand why they did the tail in the kind of cheaper fabric, but you know, oh well. But it's very cute, nice bird Pokemon. Again, it's gonna take some really good pictures. And I love it. And you have a little 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 face. Oh, so cute. Okay, now, speaking of cute faces, <laughs> Agron, another Pokemon that I like as a little cutie. The only, um, the only thing would be like the nose. I don't know what's wrong with the nose. As you can see, like if it were just sitting, it looks like it has a little crank in its neck, but I will show you all the details within this plush. Um, very soft, doesn't feel complicated, if that makes sense. Like there are some plushes that do feel um, very odd and feel like more of a cheap material, but this is not um, one of those times. But yeah, isn't he cute? I love him. I like his blue eyes, um, and he's a um, competitive Pokemon, or a Pokemon that's more seen in the competitive scene, that um, is this cute little cutie. Next we got Armaldo, because how could you not love this little guy? I did draft him in the IBA VGC League this year, and I just really like, I, really, I like his little hands. The only part I don't like is these, because these are kind of made of a plasticky fabric. But look at all the details that went into this plush. I think that it is so cute, and I love his little eyes, and he's gonna take great pictures too. And he's a little cutie. Again, I'll show you guys close up. How could you not love him? Oh my god. Okay. Yes. So, Armaldo, very cute. I w I'm thinking about getting Anorath, we'll see. I do plan on getting more sitting cuties soon, but I'm kind of waiting for more that I want to get in stock so I can buy them in bulk, aka um, like some Gen 1 ones that I want, such as like Chansey, Wigglytuff, stuff like that. Okay, nexties, we have another good favorite. I got Sableye! I was debating on Sableye for a while, but Sableye kind of has a message with, it, it kind of resonates with me. Um, when my great-grandmother was passing in the hospital, um, I, uh, plushes are really my comfort, um, as we all know, so I brought a plush Sableye with me. And so it wasn't the specific one. I still have the other one, but um, I just think it's really cute. And look at him. He's so cute. I wish they had a, a Sableye plush where it shows its teeth, but I like um, I like it a lot. And I think it's really cute. It's purple. It's adorable. It is the definition of a sitting cutie. And I carry it uh, a lot of places with me, so it's very cute. And I believe lastly that we have here today is, let's not drop them, Snow Run. Um, I don't know if I showed this before. If I did, I apologize. But he's just a little chilly boy. I wasn't going to get him at first, but then I realized he's pretty cute, so I got him. Um, feels very soft. No weird fabric, really. I'll show you all the details. Very cute. Love. Um, but yeah, that is it for today's video. Oh, no, no. I have two more. Sorry. I, <laughs> I got a lot. Um, we have... Um, this guy, Lotad. <laughs> Sorry, I was staring at him so you'd tell me his name. Lotad. Very cute because I have Ludicolo, as we can see. And I had an emo of it on my Twitch channel, which I will revive soon, don't worry. Um, but I thought that I would get the whole collection. So I have Lotad, I have Ludicolo, and I have um, Lombre. And I love this plush. If you see like the little details in the hands and the feet, like those are sharp. And his little hat feels, it doesn't feel that weird. Um, this one definitely feels a little weirder, but this one has, kind of has a soft texture. So it's very cute, I love. And I love, I love Ludicolo and I love everything that has to do with him. So yes, now that's finally it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of you for your patience um, from the videos for a while. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you 